No contact is by far the best and most mature thing that you can do after you've been dumped, broken up with, or discarded by your avoidant ex. No contact is the mature thing to do. First of all, this person requested the breakup. They no longer want the relationship. Going into no contact is giving them exactly what they asked for. It's actually respecting their wishes, as selfish as their wishes may be. It is the best thing for you too, because you are taking the opportunity to heal, to work on yourself, to become a better version of yourself, a more whole version of yourself. You can take this time to improve your life in so many ways. You can put effort and energy into your career, your family, your friends, into your healing. And your healing can also include understanding what happened to you, learning about attachment, learning about personality disorders, learning about healthy dating, healthy relationships. You can take this time and improve you. So what is no contact? No contact is when you are not reaching out. You are not initiating communication with your ex. It does not mean you're ghosting them. It doesn't mean that you have to ignore them if they reach out to you, but you are not the one reaching out to them. You are allowing them to feel your absence and you are allowing yourself to heal. Now, if you do share children or business interests or any kind of property with your ex, yes, you will have to communicate with them about these things, but you can still be in no contact. Just limit communication to things about the children or business or property only. You're not reaching out to say, hey, how's your day? Let's go hang out. You are just conducting business in a cordial manner. You can even live in the same house with somebody and be in no contact with them. Again, discussing business only, essential things only, and not getting into the frivolous chit chat and not trying to spend time with this person. No contact also prevents you from enabling the avoidant. Because when you're chasing, when you're begging, when you're pleading, when you're making yourself readily available for this person, you are sending them the message that it was okay to discard you, that you are still an available option in their back pocket. And that message gives them no incentive to work on themselves, to heal their attachment wounds, and to repair the relationship that they've broken. They have no incentive because they can come back and pick you up out of the option zone anytime they want. But ultimately, the most important thing is for your own healing, for your own sense of self. Going into no contact is essentially a form of a boundary. A boundary is what you will and will not take, what you'll tolerate, won't tolerate, what you need and don't need. You're setting a boundary with both yourself and the avoidant, and you're sending yourself the message that you are not an option, that you do matter, your feelings matter, and it's not okay to treat you that way. And you can take this as an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to become a more whole, healed, empathetic person that is actually even better and more skilled at relationships the next go around.